welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. I have a super fun video today. I'm gonna be sharing with you two clean eating, absolutely phenomenal dinner or even lunch ideas. These two recipes were so good. They were clean eating and a lot of the ingredients I picked up from my local Costco. So if you're a Costco shopper, I'm going to be showing you some great fun things that you can find clean eating and WW friendly at your local Costco, not to mention tons of other great ingredients. So if you want to see what two clean eating on WW recipes I have for you today, stay tuned. On the run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind For tonight's clean eating recipe, we are going to make a sheet pan roasted vegetables with just a few leftover potatoes and some butternut squash. And we're gonna pair that with a burger, with a chicken burger topped with cheese and avocado. So let me show you everything that's in tonight's dinner. You're going to need some avocado oil or olive oil. Squash, I have both the yellow and the green squash. Some butternut squash and mushrooms and the, we're gonna roast all of the veggies. I also have some red onion and avocado to top our burger. I have a little bit of these potatoes left, like hardly any at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw those on the sheet pan with the veggies. Whatever cheese you wanna use for your burger, I have this Argento Ultra Thin Colby Jack. These are the burgers that we're having. These are the organic Amy Lou kale and mozzarella char broiled chicken burgers. These are amazing with really great ingredients. So we're gonna have one of these and we're simply going to top it with some avocado and some cheese. And then we're going to season our vegetables with some garlic powder and some Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute, garlic salt. And lastly, we're gonna use a little bit of the Dax Green Zest. This is amazing on vegetables. My Actually, my favorite seasoning to put on vegetables. I love Dax because they're all natural, no MSG, no salt. So great if you watch your salt or great before weigh-in. And they also are made with all whole ingredients. So that's another thing I really like about them. This one has spices, dehydrated onion, dehydrated garlic, lemon peel, and then some anti-caking agent. So really great all natural spices. So that makes it a super clean spice to add to burgers, veggies, you name it. One of my favorites from Dax. Check out their website. They have over 20 spices and my code here on the screen will get you 10% off and free shipping. So those are our seasonings. So let's get the sheet pan ready to go into the oven and then we will cook up our burgers. So the first thing we need to do is chop, chop, chop. So we do not have to cut up our butternut squash. It's already in pieces, so that's great. But we do need to cut our mushrooms in half, slice up our zucchini and squash. These are the last few of the little potatoes that I have left. And then also cut our onion into rather large chunks. And then over here, I have my baking sheet lined with parchment paper. So as I cut, I'm just going to put my veggies directly on to my baking sheet and they will be ready to go. So let's start chopping. You're my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you So here are our veggies, look at all those, yum! So we're gonna go ahead and season them. I have my oven preheating to 425. So in my container here is my avocado oil. I am going to put about two tablespoons total over the top of my veggies. A lot of this will cook out through the cooking process. So I am going to put a couple tablespoons and then we are going to season it. So first I have some garlic salt. So we're gonna go ahead and put some of that on there. And then next up is our Dax green zest, which is my favorite part over veggies. So I'm gonna load it up and you can add a ton of Dax because it's salt free, which is awesome. And then we're also going to add some onion powder. 
just to kind of bring out that onion flavor. And then lastly, some of the Trader Joe's 21 Seasoning Salute, which has 21 amazing seasonings. So we're gonna add all of that. And then this is ready to go into 425 degree oven until it's nice and roasted. And then we'll get started on our burgers. So these are the burgers that we're having. I'm super excited about these. They have fantastic ingredients in them. See if I can show that to you guys, but literally they're extremely clean, organic, amazing burgers. They are four smart points a piece on all plans. So I'm really excited about these. It comes eight to a pack from Costco. So I'm actually just gonna throw the other four of these in my freezer. So this is what the actual patty looks like. They look really, really delicious. They smell really good. So I have my fry pan out here. I'm just gonna fry them up. So I'm gonna spray some avocado oil in the bottom of my pan just so my little patties don't stick and then we're just going to put these in so they're nice and thick as well so we're going to go ahead and put those into the pan and then we're just going to fry them up and then right as they finish cooking we'll go ahead and top them with some cheese and we'll slice up some avocado and put that on there as well but there are our amy lou's chicken kale and mozzarella burgers I just went ahead and added the cheese to the burger. That's this ultra thin Sargento. And then on the other three, I just added for my husband just the regular Colby Jack cheese. So we're gonna let this cheese melt down just a bit. And our veggies are pretty much done. So the veggies are done. I do have a little bit of avocado here I'm gonna top my burger with. The cheese is just about done melting, so I'll go ahead and plate everything up, and I'll be back to show you my dinner and give you the smart points. So here is the completed dinner. So I have some of the veggies. The only points in the veggies is one smart point for the avocado oil, and then the chicken patty is four points, one for the cheese, one for the avocado. So this is going to be seven smart points total. tonight's clean eating dinner we're going to be making honey lime shrimp and we're going to pair that with some organic brown rice so let me show you what is in tonight's dinner first you're going to need some minced garlic butter i'm going to be using the melt organic plant-based butter i will be giving you guys the points for light butter and sugar-free honey but i'm going to be using the melt butter and raw trader joe's organic honey you'll need a couple of limes salt and pepper, and then shrimp of your choice. We love this private selection, Argentine red shrimp. This shrimp is so delicious. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're these huge, delicious shrimp. We love them so much. So we're gonna be using that. And then for rice, this is a huge time saver. This is the Trader Joe's organic brown rice. It's in the frozen section. You literally microwave it for three minutes and it's perfect. So we're gonna be having that with our shrimp. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing we need to do for tonight's dinner is you're gonna go ahead and pull out your shrimp. You do want your shrimp defrosted. And then we are gonna put it out here on a paper towel. And we're gonna use a second paper towel and dry it the best that we can so that all of the honey and lime stick really good to the shrimp. When they're wet, it just does not stick as well. So you can see too, look at how huge these are. I mean, these are amazing shrimp. If you do have a Fred Meyer or a Kroger, Private Selection is there store brand it's kind of their high-end store brand but I mean well worth the price on this shrimp I want to say that this bag which is one pound is I want to say 10 or 11 dollars so it's not too bad and again it's really lobstery juicy delicious shrimp so I'm gonna get these put out here on my paper towel get these nice and dried and then we'll be ready to move on to make the honey lime dressing for the shrimp 
All right, next we're gonna put together the honey lime. I'm so excited for this. So I measured out on my food scale three tablespoons of my raw honey. Look at how thick this honey is. It's literally like they just pulled it from the hive and it's so incredibly good for you. And then I have three tablespoons of fresh squeezed lime. I ended up having to squeeze three limes instead of two to get the right amount. So my limes were pretty small though. The little organic ones are usually a little bit on the smaller side. So just just make sure you have about three tablespoons of lime juice and then we're just going to stir this it's going to take a couple minutes with the raw honey to make sure that it's nice and incorporated and then we're going to get our butter going in a pan so we can cook our shrimp in my pan here i have my two tablespoons of melted butter and again i did go ahead and weigh that out on my food scale we're going to let this melt down and then we're going to add in some garlic once your butter is melted, we're going to go ahead and add in some cloves of garlic. I just have about a clove and a half of minced garlic. Let that cook down for about 30 seconds until it's fragrant. Now it's time to add in our shrimp. Oh, look at how good these look. So we're just going to go ahead and get those into our pan, into that yummy butter and garlic. And then we're going to add some salt and pepper and our honey and lime mixture. And we're just going to let this shrimp cook down oh my gosh this looks so good it smells amazing with butter and garlic and shrimp yes please so here's our lime and honey mixture our honey isn't quite all the way incorporated but once we add this directly to the pan the heat will get that honey nice and melted down so we're just going to go ahead and pour that right over the top of our shrimp and then we're going to go ahead and add in just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and we're going to let this cook until the shrimp is cooked through we've got my rice going in the microwave and look at our dinner you guys yum it is just about done and then i'm going to heat up some organic california blend from walmart for a veggie and i'll be back to show you the completed dinner and give you the smart points all right, here is my dinner, you guys. This looks so incredibly delicious. So over here, I just have some of the steamed veggies with salt and pepper. I did not put anything on them because I'm going to use some of the sauce that's on my rice and my shrimp. So this is one fourth of the sauce. My husband and I did go ahead and use up the whole bag of shrimp, but we did divide the sauce, which is what has the points in it, into four servings. And then I have half of a cup of the Trader Joe's or organic brown rice. So I'm going to go ahead and put the points here on the screen first for using real raw honey and real butter or melt butter. And then I'm going to put the points here on the screen for using light butter and sugar-free honey. And that way you can decide if you want to go the real honey, real butter, or sugar-free honey, light butter option. But this looks absolutely delicious. I did go the real honey and butter. So my shrimp with sauce is five points, my rice is three, my veggies are zero. So for me, this is an eight smart point, absolutely clean eating dinner. Thank you for joining me on two days clean eating on WW video. I loved these two recipes. They were so incredibly delicious. Tons of food, low smart points, very, very good for you, nutritious food. My husband and I really loved both of these recipes. I will be linking these down in the description box below, so definitely check that out. Also in the description box, are the links and discount codes to my favorite things as well as the link to come on over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of this community. It's very warm and we share a lot of great ideas and recipes and support. So head over and join us there. If you're new, welcome. I'd love to have you stick around and join my YouTube friends and family. Hit that little subscribe button and of course the bell so you're notified whenever a new video is uploaded. You don't wanna miss out. Thumbs up this video if you're here for the clean eating WW friendly recipes and leave your comments down below. I'd love to know if you're gonna give one of these or both of these recipes a try. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.